Clinic startup will involve you placing your tackle box outside your operatory underneath the tray. The second step is to turn on your lights in the room and then come to the computer. You're first going to check to see if the computer is on and you'll be touching the monitor screens to make sure that the monitor screens are on. If the computer is running, then you're set with a computer. If it's not running, you'll open up this cabinet and turn the power button on, which is right above the silver button, to activate that. The next thing you're going to do is hit the, the unlock button and then zero. That will bring the chair down. There is a rheostat on top of the chair, which is covered by paper toweling. You'll take that off and place it directly on the floor and place your paper towel in the trash receptacle. The next thing you're going to do is move the, the light, patient's light, so it's not in the way, so no one hits their head. Check the res water reservoir, which is pretty low, more than half. You're going to twist it off. And then come to the sink, and you're going to get one of the tablets that we're going to use for the water. It's in the top drawer. It's in a tablet form. You'll open up the tablet and you will drop it into the, the container. Then you'll place the container underneath the sink to fill directly up to the top of the water line, which is located right here. There's a water line there. Then you will place it back onto the unit. And then you'll turn on your unit, make sure the switch is on, bring the tray delivery system over to next to the window. You'll take your air and water syringe and what you're going to do with the air and water syringe, there is a, the button on the left has a teardrop and the one on the right has a cloud. We're going to depress the teardrop for two minutes and we will do drain this water for two minutes prior to the start of our day, and this will be before any morning huddle that occurs, you'll hold this button down for two minutes. After the two minutes has elapsed, then you will place the air and water syringe back into the cradle, and then continue to set up the rest of, of, the, of the room. That means you'll need to go to your tackle box to pull out a few items that you're going to need that you set up, and in your tackle box you will place multiple items. You'll take your patient bib clip out, your patient's goggles. You will take one box of your masks that you received in your kits and also the box of gloves and you'll set those on top of the table. You'll take out your mirror and your blood pressure cuff that you have stored. And you're going to place this on the counter. In the top drawer, you will take out one tray cover and a couple pieces of gauze. You'll have your bib clip available for you to be using on the tray and your mirror so that you'll be showing the patient what you're going to be needing to show them for patient education. And then the blood pressure cuff. The blood pressure cuff you're going to take out, set that on the counter, the back goes off, goes off to the side and you will keep that there until you actually have the opportunity to take a blood pressure pulse and respiration on your patient. Once you are finished with the blood pressure pulse and respiration, it will go back into the bag that it came in and then back on top of your tackle box when it's completed. And this is the steps that you need to do prior to your class beginning, which usually starts with your morning huddle.